Good morning, everybody. Dar Sizzle and Put in here this morning, coming at you today out of the Lake Worth Inlet. We are on our flats boat. We have not gone out of this inlet in over a year. Pretty crazy. And it's a gorgeous morning on Lake Atlantic. Excited to get on some fish. Yeah, we're going to head out to the, what we call the Juno Ledge, which is a very popular spot out here today. Yeah. And uh, a lot of action there in the summer, and so we're pretty excited. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. We got our bait. It's time to roll. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. So we made it out to the fishing spot. And what we did was the first thing we did this morning, we got some, actually, we got some nice overcast conditions. This is perfect, nice and cool right now. But this morning, I used my my black pearl cast net, my eight foot quarter inch net, caught a bunch of pilchards. And now we came out here, put a couple of pilchards out. We got a fresh bonita and a fresh blue runners in the boat. And now I just hooked the first rainbow runner of the day, which is the goal to come out here and catch some delicious rainbow runners. They are absolutely delicious. They are actual sushi fish. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't believe that, but this is a highly sought after fish. And they get much bigger than this, but this is a solid one. There's no size limits to them. And you can keep as many as you want. I think up to 100 pounds, but there you go. He's very frisky. I just whipped him right in the boat and fought him for like five seconds. So I'll show you what I'm doing with my rig and let's get it back out and catch some more. Heck yeah, dinner in the boat. Nice job, Dar Sizzle. Like I was telling you guys, you're on a Juno ledge, and uh, you can see it on any chart. I'll, I'll uh, mark it on fish angle, no big deal. But you, this is the spot you can come out here, and you know people make their livings on this spot. Charter people and kingfish guys, like just fish here every single day, <laughs> and it's just fish here. Uh, it gets awful crowded, but uh, you can come out here with your family. And uh, again, we're just drifting throughout a chum block. We had two huge runners and a bonita in the boat in about three and a half seconds, and now there's file fish and rainbows around us. So we're gonna catch up some of those for, for a nice meal. Oh my God, big ones. Here they come. As soon as I don't have a line in the water. All right, this is how we're catching rainbow runners today. We're using super light tackle because they are very smart and they can see your hook. You can see this is a size one big gun hook, J hook today, so I can set the hook on these fish. And you see this very fresh, thin strip of fresh bonita that was just caught earlier. And so what I'm doing is just basically hiding the entire hook and just having the bar protruding out the bait like that. And then just putting it right back here in my chum slick and you can see all my chum going out good. And I've got rainbow runners right here. And I'm just gonna free line it. And hopefully I can sight cast to them or watch a rainbow runner eat it. And if it's not a rainbow runner, I usually pull it out of their mouth. He just swam away from it. Come on, buddy. They are so smart. Yeah. Smaller one, but I'll take it. Woo! Hooked up. Oh boy. Get up here, buddy. Get up here, buddy. Skipping them across the surface. That's how you do it. Woo! Flip them in. That's a nice one, too. Heck yeah. We got another one in the boat. This is fun catching them. And like I said, it's a lot of like sight casting. And that time I let it drift back a little further out of my out of my sight. And my the sun today is kind of tough seeing these fish, but got lucky and caught a beautiful rainbow runner. Look how pretty they are. Oh, that hurt. But look how pretty. Gorgeous fish, delicious to eat. They get much bigger than this too. They get like 15, 20 pounds in certain areas of the world. They get massive. But again, really good sushi fish. So you wait till you see this meat. It's an incredible. But a lot of bycatch goes with this. So you catch a lot of blue runners, a lot of bonitas on the side. But it's worth it when you get one of these beautiful, delicious fish. Hooked up. Ooh, he's bleeding. Always a bloody mess. Always a bloody mess. I let him inhale that hook. But that's okay, he's staying in the boat. I got a lot of cleaning to do on this boat. Look at this. That's a fishing boat. Ah! There we go, another rainbow runner in the boat. Smallest one. And really just, I'm realizing more and more that they really are not gonna eat it unless you really just make sure you hide that hook completely, bury it in the chum, chunk, chunk. But I'm catching these fish so quickly that they're so green and flippy. So nice one right there, bloody mess. Don't want to handle them too much more because I want to get them in the cooler and not make this boat too messy, so I'm cleaning it all day long. All right, buddy, stop. See your yellow tails back here. I got one. I got one. Yeah, rainbow runner in the boat. They're so green. 
get in the boat. That's how you do it. <laughs> One and done like that in five seconds. He's in the boat. All right, time to catch more. Time to catch more. Was that shark really trying to eat your rainbow? Yeah, yeah. Came around twice, like three times for it. On the rainbow? I got a rainbow on it right now. Oh, you got a shark that ate it. Are you f***ing kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's what happened before. I can't believe he just ate that. That's why my attack on my computer keeps breaking off. I can't believe he just ate that. Got a runner? Shark just came straight up at the boat. <laughs> Jesus, how scary. Like he's gonna launch. This is how bad the shark's here, right? We run low on chum, so I just put a carcass over the side, and you can't even do it because the shark's like attacking your boat. Killing sharks! Ah! Woo! He's right there at the back of the boat. Woo! Eight foot shark, no joke. Another ah. nice, nice rainbow runner in the boat. Heck yeah. We are catching him up. Ryan just got a nice one. I just got a nice one. And we're just trying to finish out our chum while we can and maximize efficiency and catch these delicious rainbow runners. Heck yeah! Think of this. Look at those double, triple hooks on his back. Oh! Oh, sicky! Oh! <laughs> that poor sharky. I just saw like a triple hook rig in the backside of his jaw, but that is an angry, aggressive shark that lives here on the Juno ledge. And eventually those hooks will rust out, but I just gave him a free freebie there since these sharks are so aggressive. But typical summertime conditions for us. And a lot of fishermen are complaining up and down the coast of Florida now that these sharks are getting bad because they eat all the good fish. But he can eat a blue runner any day. Back at the house, it's time to clean up our beautiful rainbow runners. We caught just under a dozen of them, which is not bad considering we got back in by noon because it's so hot this time of the year. And this is the summer months to catch these guys. So I'm gonna be posting like we talked about earlier, where we caught them on the fish angler app, exactly where, so you guys can go out there and do this too. Let's just dive right into this and cut our sushi grade meat. All right, so first things first, just behind the head like all fish I do, then angle that knife, turn it around. This is a fairly easy fish to fillet. They don't have crazy sharp scales or anything. So just take your time with it, go down the backbone just like you see me doing, go through the tail, pop it through, and then just slab off your beautiful meat. And we bled these guys out, so this way it's gonna be extra sushi grade. And I'm super excited because I love to eat raw fish. And this fish is definitely up there with Wahoo. It is quite tasty. And a lot of you guys ask us too, with our raw fish, if we actually freeze them first. And we don't. Um, our fish is not in a restaurant. And the fish that you get in restaurants, they're more than you know a couple days old. I don't know how old they are, but they're required by law to freeze their fish. For us, I know I took care of this fish. I took, you know, he's perfectly fine. He's got no parasites. So we're just gonna take him right in the house and we're gonna eat him raw. All right, so now, what we do here, same thing. Let's take the knife. And this, you can easily cut through the skin. So what I recommend is going down and then pulling, push, like basically pointing the angle of your blade back up. And I'll show you why here in just a second. So I'm pointing it up. And then when you slab that off, you leave all that red meat on the skin here. See it all over here on both sides. If I went straight down on the skin, it would be all over this meat. So now we just got the bloodline to take care of which is no big deal. Same thing, just outline it this way. I also wanted to let you guys know about my, all the stuff that I sell on my website. I haven't talked about it in quite a while, but I have these beautiful mahi pendants, as well as shark pendants, snook pendants, hogfish, redfish, uh, turtles, anchors, all kinds of cool stuff, as well as this custom stone crab claw necklace that I make. And you can check that all out on the website down below. Don't forget about my fancy fish hook and anchor bracelets that I'm wearing too. Adult and child sizes available. And I do have a sale going on for 15% off right now, a mid-year sale. I'm gonna link all that information down below. Mid-year 2020 is a coupon code and there's only a couple more days left for that. So check it out if you're interested. But there we go, there's our two beautiful loins of Rainbow Runner. That is definitely sushi grade quality meat. And because we bled him out, he is good to go. So I'm just gonna finish him up on the other side, do the same exact thing you just saw me do. And you can see right here, that's how we bled him. We just popped the gills there. And he's all set. So I'm gonna finish this up, finish all the rest of the fish, and then I'm gonna meet you guys in the house for the cooking with wooden portion of this video. Thanks, Darcel. Another great job filleting those rainbow runners. We eat these things like every single year and they're so delicious. But welcome guys to another edition of Cooking with pudding. And today, 
I'm doing sushi. I'm actually gonna make my first sushi roll. The last couple times we've done this, and I'll put a, a link up here. Uh, Dar I think it's over here. But uh, Darcy did it. And so, but I'm gonna do the pudding version today and we're gonna keep it fairly simple, you know, pudding's a simple guy. Just to point out a couple things we've already done. We're using this beautiful bamboo bowl you guys sent us uh, quite a while ago. And we made some nice sushi rice and we got this nice rice cooker, makes the rice super easy. And uh, that's it on the Amazon store, of course, you can get that thing. And then uh, we, we just made some, what we call sticky rice or sushi rice. Very simple, you, you know, you, you make the rice and then you throw in some uh, rice vinegar with some spices in it and stuff. And, and you can just Google that, no problem. All right, then I cut up some carrots and asparagus for the middle. I cut up the fish in some strips with my nice uh, Smith's knives, of course. So we basically are all set to go. Come on over here and let's see how I do. All right, guys, the abridged version of this is first you want to get yourself one of these bamboo mats and you're going to put the, the round side down. Also, this is also flat, like it was cut in half. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And then uh, pro tip is to wrap that in saran wrap. Next step is your nori paper. If you want to have nori paper, obviously, if you want to use this seaweed, you can do anything you want with sushi. And you can see this has a shiny side, what I call a flat side. You're going to put the shiny side down like this. Next thing you want to do is start using, put down some rice on this and you want to make sure you stick your fingers in some water with some rice vinegar because otherwise that rice is going to stick like crazy. You're going to put some rice on here and spread it out with your fingers. You want to spread it out pretty thin until you kind of see a little bit of the paper shining through. Next, I'm going to put some sesame seeds on here. But again, this is sushi. You guys can do whatever you want. We're going to make an inside out roll whoop, with lots of sesame seeds. Then you want to flip it and press it down a little bit just to make sure that all sticks. Next, you're going to want to add your ingredients. The first thing you want to start with is your fish and you want to leave a little bit of an edge right there. Like I said, we're going to do asparagus and some carrots. All right, after you're done putting in whatever you want, comes the tricky part. I'm going to take this and I want this edge to hit this paper all the way over for the initial twist. All right, and then you want to make sure it goes evenly across in a circle. Round. Let's see how I did. Not too bad. Got to go over a little more. All right, that's looking better. I'm going to roll it up pretty good. And there we go. Look at that, guys. Not perfect, but Puddin did a pretty good job. The trick when you're cutting it, cutting it is, and you may have seen this at the sushi places, is you're going to put the saran wrap over it. You're going to cut it in the middle first, and you're going to do like a saw. See, nice. And then you're going to take this, and you're just going to double it. All right. So you just make nice, even pieces. Then you'll be all set. All right, Darcy, let's dive in. Let's go, let's go. It looks so delicious. Did you guys see how fancy mine is and how much I made for myself? I am hungry today, hungry. Th this is why Darcy does it usually. Okay. This, is this is hers and this is mine. Well, Brian finishes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only girl that doesn't know how to use chopsticks. I feel retarded using these. All Floridians, Hold they on. never know how. I don't know you gotta how. You got to be sophisticated from New York. I feel like I should know better. Oh, look at this. I'm doing good so far. <laughs> delicious, guys. Mm. So, oh my God. go out there and get some sushi. Mm -hmm. Steal from your girlfriend if you have to. Post it on the Fish Angler app. Go find my spots over there on the app. All the information is down below as well as everything else we talked about if you're interested in that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We really do hope you enjoyed. We're looking forward to more awesome adventures and fishing real soon. So stay tuned. New videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. And until next time, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Ah. Wear your mask and wash your hands. This is easier. <laughs>